Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at factorizing just normal quadratics where a is equal to 1. Now if you're not sure how to do this, um, have a look at the links in the description below. Um, I'll just show you guys how to actually do it in a bit more detail in those other videos. Okay, so anyway, let's get started. So the first question in this case is something like this. So you got a times b equals x squared plus 11x plus 24 write algebraic expressions for a and b in terms of x. Basically, what, what it's asking for is if you have a quadratic, um, how do you write it as two things being multiplied so that it equals this quadratic? So basically, you're asked to factorize. So if you have x squared plus 11x plus 24, what you want to do is you want to factorize it. And you're looking for two numbers that multiply to 24 and add up to 11. So that's going to be x plus 8 and x plus 3. So what we really can say is that x squared plus 11x plus 24 equals x plus 8 multiplied by x plus 3. Now if you look at it, this is the same thing as saying a times b. Therefore, we can say that a equals to x plus 8 and b equals to x plus 3. Now guys, it doesn't matter which one you write as a and b as long as you write that a equals to one of those factors then. All right, cool. Let's have a look at the next question. Similar type, we've got a times b equals x squared minus 6x minus 16, and we're trying to work out uh, expressions for a and b in terms of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorize this. So when we factorize this, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to minus 16 and add up to minus 6. So we got negative 8. And plus 2. Alright, so that is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 16 and we can say that that's a and b. Therefore a equals x minus 8 and b equals x plus 2. Alright, that's basically it for this video guys. Um, unfortunately like the previous one there's no other way of doing this. This is just straightforward factorizing and just substituting, uh, sorry, telling me what, telling us what A and B is. Cool. Thank you for watching. And if there's any comments, uh, drop it in the uh, comments or questions, drop it in the comments below. All right. Thank you.